Doo -doo -doo -doo. Like be Magic for normies. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's time for magic with normies. Magic for normies and with normies because we're normies as well. I am Pixie Kitten, and this is Zuby, and we are normies here to make you feel comfortable if you're also a normie. So welcome. What Hello. am I talking about? What am I talking? I about? don't know. I don't we're, know we're either. Quite, we're quite the normal, the normal people <laughs> Listen, tonight. We are, we are, totally normal. Of, with, yes. by, and for normies. That is correct. That um, sounds like like that JG Wentworth commercial. Like, what? Like, do you need your money? I need it now. Of, with, by, and for the normies. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, tonight we are here to talk about uh, Midnight Hunt, and we are doing our very special Normies set review. Um, the first set review we did was the Adventures in the Forgotten Realms set review, and that was a really fun special event we did. Um, and so, yeah, we're doing it again because that one went so well, and I'm like, every single card we evaluated was just, like, spot on, like, on point. It, exactly. Yeah. Like, move over limited resources the normies are in town like normies normies get, back get, get in out town. of here get yeah. out of here with that set review like yeah. all, all you other set reviewers psh, just you know the, what? the whole Step the whole aside. magic yeah the whole magic community has been dying for this episode waiting for this because nobody knows what to play yet because no. we haven't done our set review yet but here yeah, we are we're gonna tell them tonight it's happening we're gonna tell you the best cards in the set and what to be playing in your pre-release. You've probably already had pre-release, but we haven't yet. And We haven't done it yet. We haven't yet. And um, that is going to a topic we should touch on, is that we will be doing a special uh, pre-release event. Yes. Um, Zuby is going to be hosting that uh, with some of our friends. So we are all going to get pre-release kits from Midnight Hunt and play a really fun pre-release uh so yeah, that'll be great yeah we've done this before it's a it's it's not Absolutely. a normal 1v1 pre-release no event no it's a four person free for all sealed deck event yeah. extravaganza winner takes all that's it you know one game if you're the winner you win for all time if you're the yeah. loser, you're a loser for all time. So I just want to go ahead and mention the last time we did this, I won. So what, what was the last set we did? Was it Zendikar? No, we, it was Commander Legends. Oh, that's right. That's... And, and that's oh, not dang. technically like a pre-release, but we did do a Commander yeah. Legends. We did a sealed one, yeah. Yes. Oh, dang. So yeah, we missed Kaldheim, Strixhaven... And um, D and D. You know, you might have done one with without me. One, you might have done one of those without me, if I remember correctly. Or maybe I'm gonna you have to... did another Commander Legend ones without me. I may have done another Commander Legends one without you, okay. but I can't recall doing because during like Kaldheim, Strixhaven, D and D, that was during all my House Flood stuff. I couldn't mm -hmm. get it like anything. So. Yeah. But anyways, it's a really fun time. Um, yeah, it, I it, it is. It. It's, oh, I, I love it because we'll we'll open the kits on stream on and just stream, talk about the cards we decks. did. And, it's really chill. Yeah, it's a fun time. Yeah. And, and um, then cry as we're like, oh god, all these decks are trash. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna cry because mine will be good. But you know, the rest of y'all, sure, go ahead, and cry. Because you'll be playing blue. Listen here. Hey, hey, the times that you have won, you played blue. I did. I did. I played a I think I played a red and blue deck one time and Yeah, I think so. I had to. You know, it's like it's oh. it's sealed. Like you've got to play what you've been given. And sometimes true. that's blue, very true. And I hate it, but I yeah, I have to do it, you know? I don't know if you exactly hate it, because you, you may not like the color, but it helps you win. You're like You're pushing it, Zuby. You're pushing it. Okay. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Forget about it. Yeah, forget about it. Um, so okay. anyways, we don't have, we do not have a date for that yet. But um, no. I'm sure Zuby will post on Twitter yes. when that will be happening and when it is all scheduled to go. Um, 
So yeah, this is a different night for us to be streaming. It's Monday night. Typically we uh, do Magic for Normies on Thursday nights, but we've had to rearrange our schedule and we might have to do that a little bit more in the future over the next few months. I know Zuby's got like a lot of work stuff, big projects going on. So yeah. just, just bear with us and just, you know, just show up when we're here and we appreciate you all exactly. very much yes. for hanging out with us. Yes, we love it. And um, yeah, it, it may be different. Um, I got to, they're making me travel more. And, um, I mean, it is what it is. I, yeah. I mean, I figured at some point they were going to open travel back up for my company and it's, they're opening it back up. Yeah, it's happening. So that's fine. We'll make it work. We'll just stream when we can. Don't you worry yes, about exactly. that. Yes, exactly. Um, so mm. other than that, what, anything been going on with you lately, Zuby? I know it's, Besides traveling, yeah. uh, I finished writing up a Magic the Gathering Cube article. Okay, that's exciting. And submitted that. I don't know when it's going to be posted on Cardsphere.com. Okay, for the Cardsphere uh, blog. That's cool. Yeah, yes. that's where your other uh, Cube articles have been. Yes. yes. And, um, and then I'm thinking of ways of what I want to do for my Magic with Zuby podcast. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know when I'm going to be bringing that back. It's like, I've been so freaking busy lately. It's yes. been, just work's been killing me. And then, I, I know I mentioned, I think I mentioned it last time on our last show, um, about a D&D &D show that oh, we yes. want to do. Yes. You, I we think are, you talked about it like very little, but yeah, let's. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I don't, I mean, I, I don't have any stuff I want to drop like news news about it. Right. Like, like what it's going to be and when is it, but. We, I think we have got our players that we wanted. Yes. And and we're in chats and discussion about it. And we're hoping if everything goes right, we're going to start that next year. Mm -hmm. Because I, I can't see a way for us to honestly start it this year. It's, yeah. I, I can't see yeah. a way. The end of the year always gets really busy for me. I mean, it's the holidays yeah. and oh, yeah. there's a lot going on. So, yeah, that's understandable. But we um, are planning on doing, um, I don't know, like, how big of a campaign that you're planning on doing. I guess we haven't really discussed any of this yet. All we have is our yeah. group right now. All, all I've got is, like, one chapter done so far. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and, and then, and then of course, all it really depends is what happens, like, what you guys do with sort mm -hmm. of. Mm-hmm. So um, the, the way we're going to be doing this is we are going to have our sessions and record them and then they will be, um, we're going to upload them to Twitch and we'll do a live premiere of the pre-recorded episode so that way we can sort of like hang out with y'all and chat and watch yes. the episode. But we can also, let, you know, if we need to do a little bit of editing or tweaking or anything to the recorded session we can do that as well and i feel like that leaves us a lot of i feel like oh, we can be more consistent with it like you know yeah. schedules and stuff we can get a lot of it recorded and then um release it weekly on twitch and i feel like it'll be and, way and more streamlined yeah the, and the one thing is it'll put way less pressure on me mm -hmm. as a dm and, yes. and two what would be cool is if there's ever a point in time where as you've seen this in other RPG shows, if there's ever like a one-on-one -on -one thing where one thing's happening with one character, we can schedule it just for that that one part yeah. for the one character sure, instead like of having to bring side, everybody a little yeah. side story, sort of background, yeah. whatever. Yeah, that's a good idea. I didn't think about that. That's a really good idea. Yeah, because I, I'd hate to you know bring everybody there. Then it's just like, oh, we're well, we're only focusing on Pixie for two hours. Yeah, and like just this one-on-one -on -one uh, 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 back. Yeah story sort of and everybody yeah. just has to sit there do nothing yeah yeah <laughs> i'm really excited though because yeah. um i have talked about it before on here like i i watched exandria unlimited and before that i had watched um la by night which is vampire the masquerade it's not dnd but yeah. you know sort of very similar um and like I've just really been wanting to really get into these games, really been wanting to play some D and D. Um, and um, I also re recently watched Undeadwood, which I know is also not D and D. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But did you ever watch that? I think it was like no. a couple years old. Okay. No, I've heard of it though. 
So there's only six episodes, and I honestly don't even know what the name of the game they played is. Um, it's, I can't remember now. Yeah, I don't know. But it's a really good. Like, it's really good. I wouldn't encourage anybody to watch it. Like, the episodes are each, like, maybe an hour and a half long. So they're not, oh, that's not super bad. long. And there's six of them. Um, and I, like... Mr. Kate and I found it super entertaining. Like, we loved it. So, yeah. Watch that if you are looking for something to sort of fill cool. your time. Yeah, so I've really been wanting to to do something. Play some D&D and getting to, getting oh, to stream it's... it and share it I think will be really awesome. Oh, it's going to happen. It's going to be fun. Yes. I, I sort of already have my character built, so I just hope I it like works with everybody else's character. Well, and, and I sent the lore dump to everybody and, you know, and just take a look at that when you can and whatever. We'll, we'll figure out a way to make it work. Yeah. And like, again, we're super early in this whole process, so yeah. it's going to be a while before any of it comes out. But yep. we are excited about it, and it will be eventually happening down the road, so y'all can look forward to that. Um, yeah, and... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I lost a the thought there. But yeah, no, it'll be awesome. And nothing. Just kidding. Boom. Yeah. Psych your mind. And we're going to get Joe Manganiello on it. Yes. Okay, he's going to be, like, one of the, like, guest characters that's there mm -hmm. for, like, one or two episodes. And then we're going to be like, okay, thanks for your help. Bye. Yeah, we're going to tell him, like, he's going to be like, oh, Zuby and Pixie, I want to keep playing in the campaign. We're like, Psst, yeah, get the fuck out, you Joe. You killed off right? your character, so yeah. you die. Sorry, not sorry. It was for dramatic effect. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would be fun. Um, yeah, but so anything else going on with you? That's about it. Same old thing. Work, busy, life. That's all. No new, yeah. like, EDH decks in the works or anything like that. No, I'm taking apart some EDH decks. Oh, oh no! Why? Ooh. What? I'm bored of them. Oh, okay. And then I, I may want to do different stuff with the cards and okay. all that because I'm one of those heathens that I don't like taking cards out of decks and putting them in others. Mm. You know, let, let let's say like Snapcaster Mage, right? It's an expensive card. Yeah. And if I if I need that card for another deck, I'll buy another one because I'm oh. stupid. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I swap out some of mine for sure. If it's like a super expensive card, like over the $100 mark, yes, I'll do that. But, mm. you know, for anything below $100, I'm kind of not. Wow. Yeah. But no, the, some of the... Spoiled. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, Um, it's just I'm taking apart some decks, selling mm. some cards, just stuff I know I'm never going to play because it's yeah. either not fun or mm. just... You know, it, and I'm not saying that Grand Arbiter is staying together, though. I was going to say, like, are you going to say which decks are taking apart? Or... Yeah, um, I'm going to be taking apart Averna Cascade. Because oh. it, it's not that it wasn't bad or anything. It just Cascade kind of bores me. I that one it, very much. It, I only played it a couple times, but it just cascades into dumb stuff. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm taking apart um, Psy Master Thopterus. Oh, I remember you saying that before. Yeah. Because it's just, it's not that it's bad. It's just another tribal deck I've got. Mm -hmm. And then, oh God, there was, there was a one or two more, but I can't remember now. Wow. Just cool. Time for change. Yeah. No, I get it. I totally understand. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I have a couple of decks that I've just like barely started. Of stuff that I want to build, but I haven't really done anything with them lately. I've been like super busy with work and life stuff too. Um, and then I recently got the um, My Little Pony cards. And oh, I, really, I saw that. That's right. Yes, and I. Really, How'd you get that? I just ordered it. I totally like oh, indulge, okay. treat yourself. I was like, I really want these cards, so I got hey. them. Um, and I really want to build, I really want to build a deck with those. Of course, you know, I have to, have to have like the, the, the talk with my group 
you know, and just be like, is it okay if I play these cards? Because they're not technically not legal in any format ever. I'm going to deny you every single time. Okay, come on. <laughs> like, it's the My Little Bony I'm cards. Joking, they're I'm all joking. just like, literally, every person can win if these things happen. Why would you no, not it, play it's, that? No, it's on. fine. Come I'll on. just play Grand Arbiter against them. <laughs> Seriously? No, I know it's fine. Seriously, thank you. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but no, yeah, I, I don't I think I've actually ever game. played a, a commander game with like uncards or anything, or like played against someone that had uncards like that. Mm -hmm. oh, and are, are you gonna like build up a, a My Little Pony deck just for that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Um, yeah, so, like, the, so, like, the, the My Little Pony win con is, like, um, you have to, like, have every single pony card, and I'm trying to, like, pull it up. I'm trying to pull it up. Yeah, you, you did a tweet on it a couple days ago, yeah. right? It's, it's, um, it's, like, Princess Twilight Sparkle. Okay, yeah, that's it. Princess Twilight Sparkle. So the card says, um, let me pull it up here. Okay, so if you pay Wooberg, it, if you control Applejack, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Rarity, every pony wins the game. Okay, so you have to, you have to control all of those cards and pay do, that and everybody wins. So do they have all those they cards? They do not. They only have three of them. Oh. So ju just the three you have a picture of, then. Correct. So the other ones so, don't exist. But does that mean they will eventually? Well, does it? I don't know. Like, why would they not make them all yet make that text? If you can, so Applejack, Flutterbee, and Pinkie Pie do not exist. Correct. Well, that's dumb. Yeah, I know. So it's like, why didn't you make them all if you put that text in a card? So there is there is another uncard that is called blank line. It's a creature shapeshifter. Okay. I will see if I can show it to you. I will share it. I will share it in the chat right now. Okay, there's like... There, I don't, this is on like tapped out. So there's like ads all over and I'm really sorry. Okay, oh, but like, gross. I know. But like, okay, you see the name of the card is just like this, is just like this blank line. Uh, okay. okay, okay, so. So, yeah, so what, so you pay one, this card's name becomes the name of your choice. Play this ability anywhere, anytime. So that would be, you, you can play that yeah. and then you'd have to get like clones of that. Right, because right. you can only have correct. Well, oh, yeah, because I guess technically you can only have one of that card, right? Because it technically if you're is a commander, a, right? Because uh, it technically is a name, I guess. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I guess. Um, so yeah, you need other cards in your deck that can copy the blank name card. Um, and then you know, and then you get the cards that copy yeah. copy things. And then you have, I guess you would do that three times, have three copies of it, and then you make each one the other names of the ponies that don't exist, and then that's how you win. You better build a deck like that and, yeah, and try I to. Want to. <laughs> and I want to win with like that ability, but like, yeah, it's kind of complicated. It's kind of complicated. But it's sure. doable. I mean, it sounds like it'd be hard. Yeah. But, it's, but, you know. It's within the realm of possibility. You might have to play a little bit of control for that to happen. Because you are going to have to play some blue. I know, you do have to play some blue. Yeah, you do. I don't know about control, though. I mean, come on. I mean, hey, what if, like, I want to do a board wipe and you've got all three of your, you uh, know. I have, like, four of the or... five. I'll be yeah. like. I'll be like, oh, uh, uh, no, uh, uh. Counter spell. Yeah, counter. That's how it happens. That's yeah, how it happens. Counter. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll 
see. We're getting me. her. We're getting if her. If I have to play counter spells to play my ponies deck, I'm just going to be like, I don't know. Very upset, honestly. The ponies are going to turn me evil. Seriously? Seriously? Yeah. Bobby Christine says, it's okay to tell your opponents no. Exactly. It's Thanks, okay. Thanks, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you for saying that. I needed to hear that. Sometimes you just yeah. need to hear that. We'll Sometimes see, it's okay to tell them pay two blue to say no. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we'll see. Like, I haven't even started on that at all. I just got those cards. That would be cool, though. But, yeah. Well, that's kind of something in the works. Maybe someday. We'll see. Yeah, it'd be cool to come up with a list for that. Like, I have nothing happening in terms of EDH decks. It's pretty much all cube I've been thinking of. Mm -hmm. Like, that's been my mind lately in terms of magic. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I guess let's talk about Midnight Hunt. Like, um, let's just freaking do it. That's what we're here let's for. Let's do it. This is All a right. freaking set review stream. So, so. I, I will preface this, at least for me, and I think you're similar. Um, I've barely looked at these cards, minus the um, the little article we had to do for Card Sphere. Yes. For picking our favorite cards. Yes. Um, so a lot of these... I'll be looking at for the first time. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? First impressions can be like great. Exactly. So that's fine. Um, so we're at least we're gonna start with the mythics. Um and we'll and see how far we get. And at least get through the mythics. We're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about these cards. And, you know, chat if you wanna jump in and tell us whatever card we're coming by is your favorite or not your favorite or you love it or you hate it just let us know please oh and i'm pulling up the um j just on my monitor here i'm pulling up the midnight hunt mechanics article because i kind of okay. forgot how daybound and nightbound already works yeah it's sort <laughs> I of kind of confusing. forgot how they work <laughs> yeah it's sort of confusing yeah yeah um because like, i see our first card it's like oh shit Daybound yeah, and Nightbound. Yeah, literally our first card. Yes, we, our first card, which is Arlen, the Pax Hope. Um, yes, I love the art on all three of these. Yeah, they look so good. Now, we've obviously, we've seen Arlen before, and Arlen was a Planeswalker before, right? Yep. Yep, and she, she's Grandmama Planeswalker. Planeswalker. Yep. Okay. So, that's, you know, the sort of same thing here. Um, but we, okay, so Arlen the Pax Hope, this is the, this is the human side, um, comes out with four loyalty, costs two, a red and a green, ha has day bound, so we're already talking about the day bound. Yeah, that's why I brought up that article, so yeah. if a player casts no spell during their own turn, it becomes night next turn, okay. Mm, okay. So you can plus one her um, until your next turn. turn. Okay. Until your next turn, you may cast creature spells as though they had flash, and each creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional one-one counter on it. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, until your next turn, you may cast creature spells as though they had flash. I like it. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not. And yeah, especially like in Gruul. Yep. And then minus three to create two two. To create two, two, two green wolf creature tokens. So this costs four mana. It starts off with four loyalty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you can immediately protect it right away. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Pretty good. Um, so yeah. And then, so she can transform with the daybound, nightbound thing, gumabob. Um, so when you flip Arlen, Arlen becomes Arlen the oh. Moon's Fury. Okay, hold on. I just I think I totally understood Daybound just now. If a player casts no spell during their own tournament. Oh, so it's not you. It can happen any time. Any okay, okay. Turn. Correct. I totally know I totally know how this works. Totally. Totally. So I, I, I'm like I'm like the uh oh what is it? Um Yeah. Oh, oh shit! Isn't it like from a cartoon or something? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where like they they take like five minutes to understand something, or some someone tells them something like five minutes later, it's like, oh, I get it. I'm like 
that I don't. Okay, let's go on. Uh, okay, I, I don't know okay. what the fuck I'm go, talking okay, about. Okay, going on. Okay, going on. Arlen the Moon's fur Fury. I said furry. I almost said furry. furry. Arlen the Moon's <laughs> furry. Well, I mean, she might be a furry. It, well, she <laughs> is. Uh, she turned into a werewolf. She's definitely a furry. I mean, furries might like her, you know. I think she's super cute as a, as a werewolf, right? Look at her. I mean, she looks a little aggravated, but she's a freaking wolf. Like, she should be. I like her. I, I mean, yeah. I think she's cool. Um, So Arlen the Moon's Fury has Nightbound. If a player casts at least two spells during their own turn, it becomes day next turn. So it seems like that's a little bit more difficult. Two spells during their own turn. Okay. So it's no longer... Because I think what it used to be for old werewolves, like if anybody, if if two spells are cast during a turn, they flip over mm. or whatever. That's yeah. how it used to be. So now it's if a player casts at least two spells during their own turn, it becomes day next turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it seems like it's harder to make it day now. Mm -hmm. compared to mm. before and i feel like we're did we go over this like in the last episode or something we did but yeah. it's a lot okay we can talk about it again we're okay. normies so, it's so, sorry high. folks it's no this I, is normies I, set reviews so that, it's that not is true this, true i have not even played this set at all so oh. <laughs> I, yeah this is i don't okay. know we're still learning we're still learning yeah. we're still learning okay so uh, arlen the the werewolf side says plus two to add a red and a green. Okay. That's nice. Not bad. Yeah. And then zero until end of turn, Arlen the Moon's Fury becomes a 5 5 werewolf creature with trample, indestructible, and haste. I love oh, it. Oh, so when we get our pre release kits, I'm yeah. opening an Arlen. I'm <gasps> calling it here now because this is a great limited card. Holy so crap. So good. Oh my it gosh. It is like limited. Holy crap. Yeah. Hell yes. Yeah, this would be a great card to pop open in your sealed draft, for sure. Yeah. Calling it right now. The normies know what's up. We know a good card when we see one. We know Best good. recognized. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're, That's right. I, I give this card a, on the, a scale of one to normie. It's definitely a normie. Oh, yeah. For sure. We love it. We love it. Um, so then we also we have all of the alternate arts of Arlen, which we love every single yeah. one of them. They're so good and they're all Wh beautiful. Which one is which one is your favorite? So, I think I like the comic book style. One. Yeah, that that that's my favorite one as well for sure. But I but I truly do love all of them. Oh yeah yeah for sure. I mean I love the border. I love the um, showcase border on this one, and mm -hmm. and I just love this art. I just it's amazing. I really do. That's what uh, that's what I'm gonna open. Yeah. Okay. So our next card. Here we go. Normie's that review. Um. And hey, everyone that has joined us recently. Hey, Vaughn's. Hey. Hey. Data Storm. Hey, everybody. What's up? Hey, Welcome. Colin. What's up? Um. So our next card is Bloodthirsty Adversary. We got a vampire, folks. We got a vampire. What? A vampire in the werewolf set. Get out of here. Heck, freaking yes. Let's go. Okay, Vampires so this is a 2-2 two -two vampire for one and a red. It has haste. I already love it. When oh, bloodthirsty like adversary enters the battlefield, you may pay two and a red any number of times. When you pay this cost one or more times, put that many 1-1 one -one counters on bloodthirsty adversary. Then exile up to that many target instant or sorcery cards with mana value three or less from your graveyard and copy them. You may cast any number of the copies without paying their mana costs. Holy crap! That's got a lot going on. That is a lot of words. A lot of text there. A lot of text. But and it's pretty so, good though. So I mean, for it to even be useful, you gotta have so, a lot so of mana. Yeah, so I mean, at, at worst, at worst, you'll pay two mana for a 2-2 two, two haste if you're trying to go aggro. Mm -hmm. At second to worst, you pay five mana to at least get a 3-3 three, three haste mm -hmm. and possibly copy an instant or sorcery. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I'm just not... It just doesn't do much for me. I mean, I like it. Let, let, 
like like in limited it's good yeah but but still in limited like you'd still want to pay five mana for it to even for it to be useful right yeah there there are a lot of triggers here like for sure it's got a lot going on but um, do, do you see that would you play this in commander yeah, maybe you would, because I guess you'd Actually, have more... Actually, yeah. Like, you would have a lot more mana. Yeah, because you... you'd have more access to mana rocks. And oh, yeah. And you Whatever would... the heck else. You would easily have stuff you want to recast again, for sure. Um, so... I guess... Oh, only... oh, hold on. Hold... Yeah. Oh, I get... Okay. So if you pay the cost one or more times, you exile more than one target instant or sorcery. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so if you pay three, you do it once. Wait. Yeah, so you can... So you put that many 1-1 counters on it, then exile up to that many. Okay, so you can pay six, and then you get two Innocence or Sorceries. Yeah, yeah. With mana value three or less. Okay, okay. So you can get so you, multiple yeah, but... cards back. You just have to pay three for every single one that you get back. So, so this is definitely well, way more of a Commander card. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. There is a lot going on here that, um, I mean, in limited, you're probably just going to most likely just play it for being a 2-2 two, two for 2 with haste. For the most part, yeah, unless you've got, I, without seeing the rest of the cards, unless there's some sort of, you know, recursion thing that, or, or burn or something, mm -hmm. you know, that you want to do. Yeah. Oh, also bonus in all these is they have to enter the battlefield before sinking mana into them. So if they are countered, you only be... Oh, oh if they're countered, okay. you're, you haven't already paid that extra cost. That's a very good oh, point, Colin. That is. Okay. Oh, shit. That makes it better than I thought. So yeah, for you, sure. paid, you paid the two mana first. To just and cast then, it. Yeah. yeah. And then if it successfully enters, then you can decide, yo, I'm going to dump, you know, 15 mana into this. Right, because you totally have 15 mana when you're playing, you know, a sealed event, for sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's decent. I think it's probably better okay. in a commander style thing. Okay. Yeah, so what Colin just described, that changes my whole perspective on this card now. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you could play this turn to get a good hasty and, like, limited. But in mm -hmm. Commander, yeah, I, I love that, that you yeah. can just Real nice. dump mana. Yeah. Make a bunch of copy spells. Ooh, it's awesome with Treasure Ramp. Ooh, that's right, because there's so much treasure, especially in Standard right now. There's so much ways to get treasure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very... Treasure is very popular right now. Treasure is just, like, so hot. It's just, like, treasure is just, like, popping Stop. off. It's trying to make treasure happen. It's not oh going to happen. It is happening, though. Like, that's the thing. It's Holy crap. Is it not? Like, the past couple sets yeah. have been... I think they're pushing treasure a little bit too hard. I like it. I like treasure. Oh, I, I like it, too. But it's like... I, I feel like when it first came out, it was used very sparingly. And now, like, the past three sets, besides Midnight Hunt, they're just like... Let's <laughs> just puke up treasure everywhere. Yeah, that's okay. I like it. Yeah, um, so we, so we are giving this card a plus. A plus. A thumbs yes. up plus for sure. A thumbs up. We, we do need to come up with a rating system. That we would do, be fun. We totally do. Why didn't we a think of that before? A, oh shit! Hold on. I'm gonna make a note in our. We'll thing. we'll have this um, prepared I'll for our next set review. Normy rating system yeah right so on a scale of one to normie yeah. so we know one being the lowest normie being the highest so you just said what thumbs up plus yeah thumbs up plus i, I i'm typing this out as we figure out new <laughs> this is great this is great <laughs> um, we're totally professional here yeah totally efren says that his negan deck loves this card Negan. Oh, I get maybe because it has like a lot of kill spells or something. We'll see. We'll see about that, know. Efren. We'll see that. Double thumbs up plus is the top rating. Yes, Colin gets it. Colin gets it. Colin totally gets it. Oh. For sure. Double thumbs up plus. plus. Right, exactly. 
Um, so yeah, okay, so Bloodthirsty Adversary has a, f has a, has an extended art, a full art, it's not a full art, I guess it's an extended art. You know, this kind of looks like the, uh, the Demon Hunter from Diablo 3. Kind of, yeah, like, look at the crossbows there. Yeah. She's very cool. She looks very cool. Is she, oh, she's just on the stairs, okay, she's not flying. Yeah, but she is, like, okay. commanding... With her presence up there, for sure. You don't want to fuck with her. I'm scared of her. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, let's go on to our next card, which is Consuming Blob. Wait. Consuming I... Blob for three and double grain. Yes. Consuming Blob's power is equal to the number of card types among cards in your graveyard, and its toughness is equal to that plus, equal that number plus one. Whew. At the beginning of your end step, create a green ooze creature token with this creature's power is equal to the number of card types among cards in your graveyard, and it's equals e something is equal to the that number plus one. Oh god, that's, these cards have a lot of text. Okay, yo. Okay, yo. All right. Whoa, 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 Watsy. Come on now. We can't be reading a book every time we play Magic the Gathering. <laughs> what? Right? Hello. Right? Hello. So, so is this the 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 Tarmogoyf ooze? Because isn't Tarmogoyf pretty much this? I don't know, is it? Hold on, hold on. I'm going to look at Tarmogoyf right now. Come on, Scryfall. Why are you being... I mean, I like it, though. I mean, it's... I like the card. For sure. So, yeah. Among type... Oh, card types. Oh, it's only your graveyard. I think Tarmogoyf counts oh, all graveyards. Graveyard. Ooh, okay, okay. Come on, Scryfall. Why are you being so Ooh, slow? Uzagoyf. Uzagoyf. Okay, listen, though, like, I'm just gonna change the subject real quick, just this is a side story that I meant to, I meant to talk about before we started the set review, um, and I mentioned Yo. this to you, Zuby, that I said I wanted to say something on stream before we started, so uh -oh. I, so, oh, that's right. Yeah, so this past weekend, I watched The Shining for the first time. With all Jack the way Nicholson? Through. Yes, yes, yes. So now, like, I'm, like, I'm, I don't, I'm not gonna, like, give out spoilers, but this is also, like, a really old movie, so you've probably already seen yeah. it already, everybody. So anyways, like, my favorite, so my favorite character in the movie is Tony, so I, I like talking in, in a Tony voice, you know, that, you know, that. When is Tony again? Tony is, um, It's been Danny, forever since Danny, I've seen it. Danny, the little boy's. Um, invisible friend is Tony. Tony. Okay. Tony. You know, Tony. Tony. I, it, I can't remember. Like, it's Come been forever on, since Tony. I've seen it. Tony. Danny's. Red Rum. Red Rum. Danny's not here right now. Danny's not here. <laughs> okay. Pixie's not here right now. <laughs> right? It's just Tony. It's Tony. So, anyway. So, did you like the movie? Or? Yeah, I liked it. It was pretty good. Like, did it. I, I mean, it's not very scary to today's standards, but did it, like, creep you out or anything? Or? Yeah, like, it's it's definitely creepy, and they they do a good job, like, building the suspense with, like, camera shots and, like, the music and, like, yeah. stuff happening. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it, I think it holds its, I think it holds its relevance pretty well, honestly. Yeah, Shit, what's like her it. name? The, the one who plays the wife, she did such a good job. Yeah. In, in that role. Yeah. Like, oh, was it Shelly Peterson or? Something. Her, I think something her name like is Shelly. Something like that. Shelly something. But yeah. yeah. I can't remember. So I don't, I, I don't like scary movies. I do not watch scary movies. I don't like them. Um, But like The Shining, it's kind of like a classic. And it's not like super yeah. over the top. It's not. It's a little scary. Su supernatural. Yeah. Jump scares, but, but it's not too bad. After watching all 15 seasons of Supernatural, <laughs> scary movies are, like, dead to me. Because right. I'm just like, because, you know, like, I, I tried watching a ghost movie or something a couple years ago, and I'm just like, just get the fucking salt and put it on the windows or some shit. Or, yeah, or, yeah. You know, get some right. salt pellet, shotgun, call the boys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get the Winchesters up in here. Let's go. Shelly Duvall, that's right, yeah. Shelly Duvall. So anyways, I don't like scary movies, so please don't recommend yeah. horror movies to me, Efren. I don't yeah, like them. It, it's, 
I, I tried to do a whole one year. I tried to do like a whole horror movie thing where I watched all of like the Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the Thirteenth movies. Yeah. One time and God, like I mean, I used to be scared of those as a kid, right? Yeah. Watching them now, I'm just like, oh, these are all Whatever. corny. Yeah, like, like these goofy. are. Like, like they have some jump scares, right? Yeah. But otherwise, it's sort of like, eh. yeah. yeah. You're like, there's so much more scary stuff in real life. Like, I don't even care about this. Like, I, I took Jazzy to go see uh, the second movie of It. Oh. And all that. Uh huh. The newer and ones, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was bored to fucking tears. <laughs> really? I haven't seen those. I've seen the old It, but I haven't seen. Yeah. Because I, I saw, I saw both the new ones, and they were just boring. Mm. Yeah. I, I guess people found them scary, and I'm all like, no. Wow. Because you'd be, but you'd be I, but scared. I'm, no, no, that's not saying that. No, no, I can tell you some shit that scared me. Oh. But, but, um, no, I'm just not, I'm like, you know, I'm not into scary movies. Like, I, I like more the either drama or action yeah. type stuff. I, and, I like, like, a thriller or, like, something that's suspenseful yeah. or, like, a mystery. But I'm not, like, into, like, horror, gore. I do not like that like, yeah. at all. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, that I don't like. Um, Colin, I've been watching Squid Game on Netflix. I have not watched that yet, but I, I literally... I saw the advertisement on Netflix, but I was like, I don't know what this is about. Oh, I've been watching a whole bunch of 80s fantasy movies lately. Um, really? I, okay. I, I, I watched Flash Gordon, um, which is so, so corny. Um, Labyrinth, of course, because, I mean, yeah. La Labyrinth's just fucking perfect. Okay. Um, and, and then I, I just started watching Willow last night. Oh. Fucking love Willow. Ugh. Did you, you don't grow like it? up watching these movies? Though. I didn't really grow up watching Willow, but okay. the the first two I did. I was gonna say, like, I feel like movies like that have this huge nostalgia factor. Like, if you watch it as an adult now and you never seen it before, you're probably like, "This is really stupid." But if you watched it as a kid and like you loved it, then you like it as an adult too, right? Yeah, I can see that, but I I would say. I didn't watch The Princess Bride until I was, like, in my mid-20s. Mm -hmm. And I have seen it, like, 20, almost 30 times now. Because it is such a good movie. Like, I don't know if you've seen it. Have you seen Princess Bride? I have. I watched it as an adult, yes. You didn't like it? I just... It's fine. It's okay. But... It was just... I, I don't know. Something about it just... It clicked with me. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Sure. That's okay. It's, She's it's just fine. like, oh, God. Like oh, God, I got to find another normie co-host. Uh, who can do God, this with me? No, I'm kidding. I don't. We've <laughs> already established in the past that we do not necessarily have the same taste in movies. So yeah. It's fine. Oh, no, and that's fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. Um. Okay, so I guess we're going to talk about magic, though. True, 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 Consuming true. Consuming Glob. Okay, we're back. We're back to the ooze. I don't like it. What? I mean, it's only your graveyard. It doesn't count all graveyards. And it is kind of expensive. Like, it's five. It costs five to cast. I mean... Equal to the number of card types among cards in your graveyard. I, I don't card know. I just types. don't like it. Like, how yeah. many different card types can there even be? Like, you're like... There's like a max of like, what? Like, five or six? Something like that. Because it's what? Enchantment, lands, creatures, instant sorceries... Artifacts. Yeah. Planeswalkers. I think it's seven. Okay. But so, still, you're, you're, but eat, like in a limited deck, you're never going to have all those. Like no. you could have, you could have maybe like instant sorcery creature. Mm. I don't know. Okay, oh, wait. but it makes a token on, on your turn, every turn. Every uh, your turn. At the beginning of your end step, it creates a, a token with the same oh, power and toughness. That's right. That's right. So, okay, it's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Yeah, I still don't love it, though. I'll give it a thumbs up just because I'm not going to give it a thumbs down. I'll, I'll give it a... What should be above a one? Like, that, that's where it is for me. Like, just above a one. Um, so that that's like a... That's like a... That's like a handshake. Like, eh. eh. A hand wave? A hand... I don't know. Or, or we're call it a... One. An eh. Side thumbs. Yeah. yeah, it's it's just like eh. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm with yeah. you there. We'll call it eh. Eh. Okay. Our next right. card um, is Enduring Angel. So for two triple white, it's an angel that's a three through with flying and double strike. All right, I love it Ooh. already. You have hex proof. Ooh. Okay, really good. Yeah. If your life total would be reduced to zero or less, instead transform Enduring Angel and your life total becomes three. Okay, Ooh. not bad. Then if Enduring Angel didn't transform this way, you lose the game. What does that mean if Enduring Angel didn't transform this way? How can that, how can it not? Oh, aren't there, I think there's cards in the set that you can like cast and Stop like, and transform? Yeah, yeah to, to, well not stop, but to like transform cards or something. Hmm. So, so that could be a drawback for this card where like you're you cast this and your opponent makes you transform and during angel you lose mm. colin says if it's a token like if you made a token copy of this somehow okay let's transform it and see what it says that has flying you have hex proof its power and toughness are each equal to your life total that's pretty cool whenever angelic enforcer attacks double your life total oh it can't transform and you would draw the game because it would keep trying. If it's a token, if you make it and you would draw the game because it would keep trying. What? If oh, you that's can't crazy. Transform, though, it says you lose the game. Duh. I'm confused. Yeah, I don't know. This, this is. Hey, food time. What's up? Hey, food Welcome. time. Thank you for the subscription. Um, What's up, food time? All right, well, discounting Colin's um, token thing, because that's way too confusing for me right now. Yeah, Colin, so by, Colin, you're blowing our mind. Okay. Yeah, it would keep trying to transform, but now that it can't, you lose instead. What? But I thought you just said it would draw, not lose. I don't... Okay. Listen, listen. We're just we're just a couple of simple normies, okay? <laughs> in my head hurt. I'm serious, but but I but I want to say there is a card in Midnight Hunt where you can like make all permanents flip or transform if they have the ability or something. Oh, okay. I, I thought I saw something like that, mm. and that's why they have that, and maybe that's why they have that thing as well too. Okay. Okay. Um, so when you flip it, like, it flips when your life total would be reduced to zero. Yeah. Your life total then becomes three, so you flip it, and then the Angelic Enforcer's power and toughness are equal to your life total, which is three. Mm -hmm. Whenever Angelic Enforcer attacks, double your life total. Pretty good. So, before, so if you, hmm, Okay. So when it attacks, its power and toughness get doubled before it does damage too, right? Because when it attacks, you double your life total. Yeah, because no matter what your life total is, that's going to be its power and toughness. Mm, okay, okay. Stace, for sure. So it would the knight token gives everything knight bound, so it would transform if it becomes knight? What? I thought, huh. um, what card is that? I mean, I, I know there's the Nightbound, like, token and all that, but, but, but this angel isn't a Nightbound or Daybound token or card, though. Yeah. All right, I'm confused. Yeah, I don't think that would affect this card because it doesn't have Daybound or Nightbound. Okay, wait a second. Let's look at a card that has Daybound. Can we can we see the No, never mind. I thought we could see the token. I really thought there was a card that you can make stuff transform. I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick. Wow. We are we know we're what terrible we're doing. at we, this. We know what we're doing. We know what we're talking about. So listen, everybody should just trust us here. Trust us, please. 
We are so good at this. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Food Time, for finding us the token. Oh, Moon Mist Force Transforms Humans? Oh, that's an angel, though. Not oh, yeah, though it is. It's an angel. If it becomes oh, day or night, I don't know if I'll track it. Okay. Daybound permanent. Okay, but it has to be a permanent that says daybound or nightbound for this to happen. Yeah. Yeah, like as it becomes night, transform all daybound permanents. Everybody listening to the audio right now, they're probably just screaming in their cars. Holy crap! Sorry. These freaking armies! Sorry. Sorry, guys. We're. Sorry. We're really trying to understand this. I'm. Damn, this is. It's a little bit complicated. Yeah. Just slightly. Yeah. Slightly complicated. Okay, so we. So we'll give this card a thumbs up, I say. Okay. Thumbs Enduring up. Angel, yeah, it's I, I good. like it. It's pretty good. Hey, Merc, this set review is going so great. We're just reviewing these it's, cards like... It's great. Pro it's, it's amazing. freaking professionals. For sure. Ooh, um, I really like our next card. Okay, yeah, we're going, we're, going on to, we're going on to our next card, which next is... Next card. Uh, hostile, hostile. Hostile, hostile. Yeah, so it is a land. You can tap it to add a colorless. Or you can pay one, tap it, sacrifice a creature, put a soul counter on hostile, hostile. Then if there are three or more soul counters on it, remove those counters, transform it, then untap it. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay, so... And it flips. I love the art on the back of it. So you it's so cool. It. Yes, it is cool. It becomes a creeping in. Whenever creeping in attacks, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is the number of creature cards exiled with creeping in. Wait, wow. When it attacks, you may exile. Do each opponent and you gain. Oh, okay. So, so it it's just going to keep going up. Yeah. yeah. So it would grow each time it attacks. And it can phase out. Yeah. You can pay four to phase it out. So that's pretty cool. And it's a three seven creature. So that's I mean, nice. Not the strongest, but right. I, I love that but it's, it's got, got a, a really big booty though. Got a big butt and it cannot lie. No oh, other yeah. ho hot hostile can deny. When a vampire walks in and he got an invitation. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Mm-hmm. He gets crunk. Oh, yeah. On some blood. Yo. He's a vampire, yo. Okay. What we... He, he, he gets some 420 blood. This is this is not <laughs> rapping for normies, like, whatsoever. All right. Sorry. So, not the best card and all that, but the art is, like... It's cool. It, yeah. it's, it's a normie level of art. Yeah. And I, I like... I like its I like its flavor. It's very cool. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I, I I would play this card in limited for sure. In, in EDH. Oh yeah. Probably not. The only thing I kind of yeah. like about it in EDH is the sack outlet. Right. For it, but what? other than that, it's not a great you know. sack outlet though because you got to pay one and tap it. Yeah, true. But if you're like, you know, desperate <laughs> for a sack outlet. Yeah, it's it's better than go. nothing. But sh yeah. but yeah. Um, oh, you can only activate it as a sorcery. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. That is true. So we we give it a thumbs up, but maybe not a thumb not a thumbs up plus, just a thumbs up. Yeah, art gets normy. The the yeah. card a yeah, thumbs it's up. Yeah, great. It's great. It's great. Um, yeah, Efren says this got a one star rating on TripAdvisor. That oh makes man. Sense. You yeah. You should have seen the Yelp review. Yeah, that makes sense. Sack your decayed zombies on main two. Yep. Good for sure. Do that. Um, it phases out so good. It does phase out, so that's nice. Sack your decay well, don't you have to don't don't you have to sack your zombies after they attack? No, I think or, or, or do they it sack at the, at the end. end. Step. Yeah. Oh, I think they sack. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like a, yeah. I'm so good at this game. You We're don't so. This is it. the best. God. 
Yeah, we're so good. <laughs> So bad at this. Hotel. Where do I sign up? I love it. Okay, we're moving on. Intrepid Adversary is our next card. Yo. yo oh, yo, End yo, of yo. Combat. Oh. Okay. Decayed Zombies Sack at the End of Combat. Oh, oh I thought it was... Oh, I, okay. E Efren had a really good funny there. The other side should have been called Dead in Breakfast. Nice. I like that. Yeah. That's a good one. Get on it, wizards. You heard it here first. You did. Alright, so our next card, Intrepid Adversary. Yep. One and a white human scout that's a 3-1 with lifelink. Okay, not bad. Yeah. So this is a typical body we see at two mana for white. Yeah. A 3-1 with lifelink is yep. pretty good. So this is similar to the, the, the red one, the Bloodthirsty, where... When it ETBs, you see, mm -hmm. I'm using the lingo like the cool kids. Ooh, ooh, when it ooh, ETBs, ooh. you may pay one in a white any number of times. When you pay this cost one or more times, but that many valor counters on intrepid adversary. Wow. And then creatures you control get plus one, plus one for each valor counter on intrepid adversary. Okay. So, so it's like what our master Colin told us. Yes. Um. You pay two mana first, and then you then it triggers yep. when it successfully resolves into just dump all your mana. Into yep. It. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I think I don't know. Like, is this one better than the red one? Oh, uh, the only way I, I like this one better is if I'm playing like a go wide strategy with mm -hmm. a lot of tokens or something. Yeah. Because if you look at it, because it'll get counters. And creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So you're essentially doubling this power mm -hmm. because it counts itself for getting right. plus one, plus right. one. Right, right. On top of the counters you just put on. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. I think it's good. And it's got lifelink. Yeah. I. Yeah. I think out of the two we've seen so far, I like the red one better. Okay. Because I, I like the flashback ability mm -hmm. of just, you know, casting that really good card or something that mm -hmm. you you need to cast again mm -hmm. but in I think terms this of like that's better and limited yeah I, sure. I would agree yeah I, I i could see myself putting this in something like um that maha tokens mm -hmm. that i have yeah for sure um and like most importantly like can we look at this art please because i'm pretty sure we this can. is a cat on this guy's back I think you're right. Is it a cat? Yeah, it's definitely a cat riding on this guy's back. Like, if, if people watch that, like, I'm trying to look at my monitor here. To see. I'm zoomed. It I'm does zoomed. look like a cat. Yeah. I mean, it's either a cat or a lemur. So either way, it's amazing, right? It. Well, okay. Now that you zoomed in, it might be. Is it a lemur? No, I think it's a cat. Well, hold, hold on, hold on. If you scroll in. Back into it again, it, it it has, like, stripes on its tail. Yeah, but cats can have stripes, though. Can it, though? Yeah, both of my cats literally have stripes on their tails. I'm, th I'm thinking it's a lemur. It's a cat, you fool! Look, 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 look at the front the front two hands. They, they kind of look like they're not <laughs> going down like a cat. They're kind of, like, you know, crooked okay. a little bit. Okay, we have to find this artist. All okay. right. Hold on. All right. We uh, gotta, Victor. We have to find the original Tatoy. art. Yes. Illustrated by Victor Tatov. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. We're Does... We've got to find this original art. So just everybody, just hold on. This is really freaking important. Okay. I, I'll go ask him on um, Twitter. All right. We're we're putting. Uh... All right. I found his Twitter. You okay? did. Okay. He hasn't tweeted since April 9th of this oh. year. So there's no, like, original picture. All right, so I'm going to tweet out right now. It's a cat. Yeah. Okay, Hamsterfly. That, that's, his, that's his Twitter name. Okay, Hamsterfly. Hamsterfly? I'm hey, Hamsterfly. Okay, I'm just going to, like, Please help us answer. Check. Please help us answer a most important question about yep. the card art for intrepid please adversary yes please help us i'm, I'm like searching for this art 
on the person's shoulder. shoulder. Yes. I think it's a lemur. It's not a what lemur. Is it exactly? Please, it's a please cat. and thanks. Much salutations. I'm not gonna put that. Much salutations. Okay, wait a second. I'm looking at the um. Ah. I'm looking at the art with um, the. It's a lemur. Ex extended frame. Are there lemurs in Innistrad? I don't think so. I'm um, looking at the extended frame art. It's a little bit more clear. I'm pretty sh like it's a cat. Come on. Pretty sure it's a lemur. That looks like a lemur. I just like. Can we get like the full resolution art, please, Victor? I know, right? Okay, I, I I sent out that tweet. I copied you on it. It's not a lemur. It's not a lemur. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. Oh, um, this is great. Yeah. Holy shit. Th and this is why we'll never do like a full set review. Yeah. Like ever because That's we okay. just get pulled into like the dumbest shit. We've What's looked at like dumb? six cards. We've looked at like six <laughs> cards total. And it's been an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're so, our I set reviews it. are the best, right? I love it, okay? I yeah, love it because it's... It's the, it's the greatest. Because we talk about the important shit. We do. This is important. We need to know for sure what this is. I know what it is, but I need Zuby to be told what it is for sure. I know what it is. It's, it we all like know what lemur. it is. It's a cat. We know it's a cat. It's a lemur. Oh my god, what, what if he comes back and says, It's neither. It's some... I don't know, raccoon Rac or something. Raccoon, possum, <laughs> made up sort of in a stride right. animal creature. No, it's a cat for sure. 100%. Lemur. All right. Um, um, so we're giving on. this card a, th a thumbs up. I say thumbs yes. up. We like I it. give a thumbs up plus. Okay, thumbs up plus. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Our next card is Jaren Corrupted Bishop. Okay. It's a bar. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's a guinea pig. No, they don't have tails like that. Come on, Efren. Jeez. Okay, so our next card is a legendary creature, human cleric. Uh, it's a 2 3 for 2 and a black. Whenever Jaren, corrupted bishop, enters the battlefield or another non token human you control dies, you lose one life and create a 1 1 white human creature token. What? That's okay. a lot. Okay. Pay two. Target human you control gains lifelink until end of turn. At the beginning of your end step, if you have exactly 13 life, you may pay four black black. If you do, transform Jaren into... Okay. Ormondal the Corruptor. Ah! Okay. A demon... Mm -hmm. A 6-6 six, six demon with flying, trample, lifelink. Sacrifice oh, another shit. creature, draw a card. Okay, so the demon is so good. The demon is amazing, right? I like it, but damn, it seems like it'd be hard to transform, though. It seems like it would be hard to transform. I'm with you. I'm with you. But if you can, like, look at this. Look at this. Look at Ormondal, the Corrupter. Like, Flying, Trample, and Lifelink, 6-6, six, six, Sacrifice another creature, draw a card. Yeah, I, I, I like that what? part better, the, the sack effect, way better. Cause draw a it's, card? It, it, it's like a Yara, but without the tap effect. So you just good. Just keep sack, 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 sacking so all day, sacking all good. night. <sighs> Oh, my oh and, God. and the other art, like the sketch art or whatever, <gasps> Ooh, let's the, look at it. the the sketch art for the Ormondal in the back looks legitimately creepy. <gasps> Ooh. Hey, Colin. Oh, dang, Colin. Thank you so much for the gifted subs. <laughs> Colin. <laughs> thank you, Colin. Oh, thank you. Yes. Hype. That's yeah, awesome, Colin. Oh, hype. Uh, this is Demon Hype, is what this is. Demon Hype. Demon Hype. Okay, let me flip this card because I haven't even looked at it yet. Whoa! Oh my gosh, yeah, it's so cool. It looks legitimately creepy, so. Woo! In terms of limited, I like this because, you know, you're probably going to have a sack outlet somehow. 
And, and even when your stuff dies, you're just gonna poop out another creature. Yeah. And, and, and limited, it seems easier to get to 13 life compared to commander. Yeah. I mean, like... Or, or at least, and it's not that it's hard in commander, it's just gonna take you a little bit longer. And it's kind of, oh, it's kind of like, I don't know. I feel like it's easy for somebody to mess that up. Yeah. You know? Like a lot of people, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Like I play stuff that has a lot of little ping stuff and you could just like, yeah. oh, somebody's about to do that. Hit you. From yeah, e easily like like the the end step trigger ability goes on. And then up oh, in response, I'm going to ping you. You're down to 12. Yeah. And up oh, doesn't go off now. Right. 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 Um, but it's still a good card. Like, I mean, even if you can't flip him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I can see my pre-release kit already. I'm going to open an Arlen Cord, a Bloodthirsty Ooh. Adversary, Ooh. And, and a Jaren now. That's how it's going to go. Okay. So you're going to have three Mythics in your pre-release pack. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I really like this. You heard it here first. Yes, we heard it. Um, could you build a commander deck around this? I'm sure people could figure it out. Mm -hmm. People smarter than us. Smart, yeah. No, what? Who are we kidding? We're the best. All right, all right so I just got a response on Twitter. What? By by Lou Sniffer, or Lou Siffer. Wh okay. He They said, that's a friggin' cat dude, without a doubt. First of all, Lou, how dare you? <gasps> and second of all, I need to talk to the artists, okay? I'm being a Karen right now. Yeah. I need to talk to the artists. Yeah. I mean, we appreciate your input, Lou, and you're not wrong. But we're trying to get the artists to actually confirm, please. I, I, I need to talk to the artist's manager. That's a friggin' cat, dude, without a doubt. That is an amazing response, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, we're still waiting to hear back, though, from Victor, so we're going to wait for the official response, people. Okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure Victor's just waiting to be pinged on Twitter right? since they haven't, since right. they haven't uh, tweeted since April 9th of this year. Correct. I'm sure right now Victor is working on getting a full resolution art uploaded so mm -hmm. um, that, you know, we can all see exactly what it is. I'm sure I'm... of it. 100% sure. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at our next card. Zuby, you're going to like Yo. this one because it's a blue Yo. card. It's I don't a like this creature. card. I don't like this card. You don't like this card? It's why? called, no, because okay. I'll tell you why. Yeah. It's called Leer or Liar. I say Liar. Liar, Liar. liar. Pants on fire. Disciple of the Drowned for three double blue. It's a three four. Has the worst ability ever. Spells can't be countered. Why would I ever want to play this card if I want to make sure I can counter spells? The worst <laughs> garbage. Um, I'm gonna put this in my in my decks. I'm gonna splash blue and just put this in my decks. So each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard has flashback. The flashback Ooh. cost is equal to that card's mana cost. Okay, that's pretty good though, right? No? No, no, it's freaking awesome. Yeah. I don't... Wait, play things that bounce or exile spells on the stack, Zuby. Mind break trap. Ooh. That's a lot of words, and I'm Ooh. not sure exactly like what cards do that exactly. So... Anyways, <laughs> I don't There's like too that much card. work food time, clearly. Yeah. What Zuby's saying is that he just wants to go the easy route and just be able to counter everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I, I just want to be able to counter. I don't want to have... If I'm countering a spell, I don't want to have to think. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I've already thought about countering the spell. I don't want to have to to bounce the spell to counter it Ugh. to then get what i need to do yeah oh gosh that, 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 that's that's way too much way too much for, for me at that point i think though that efren has a really good point by the time you get this out all your shit has already been countered yeah it's true maybe it's true 
Maybe. Yeah. I mean, this is interesting because, you know, it's it's not like every blue deck plays counter spells. There's yeah. definitely blue decks out there that don't <laughs> play counter spells for yeah. sure. But I don't know. Like, it seems like a blue card stopping a blue ability. It's a little weird. Yeah, it's, um, have we seen something like this in blue before? Spells can't be countered? Yeah, yeah, like on, on a creature like this before? Not that I know. Because I know I've seen... Smart. I mean, I know I've seen, you know, creatures that say this spell can't be countered, like this creature can't be countered, and right. all that. I don't know if I've ever seen a creature that just has outright, you know, spells can't be countered. Mm-hmm. It's to prevent it from just being the best counterspell commander. Yeah, you're probably right. Right. Because the second part is really good. Right? Yeah. So they have to be like, we've got to nerf this somehow. So we're going to make this say spells can't be countered. True. Can't have it all. Just one or the other. Yeah. So what do you I, give I, this card? A one. <gasps> a thumbs down? Yeah, because I don't like the first ability. Ho, 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 ho. It's garbage. Wow. If I want to be able to counter stuff, I want to be able to tell people, please no, please no. Didn't say please. Can I please have some more? No. Wow. The second part would be nuts though with counter spells. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It would. Totally. All right. Well. I give it a thumbs down too because it's a blue card. Sorry. Ooh, but oh, so is is that below a one? Is a thumbs down below a one? No, a thumbs down is a one. Okay, so one equals thumbs down. Yeah. I I am typing this all out. If you look at our episode sheet. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, enjoy your dinner, food time. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah. Thank you, food time. Um, let's go to our next card. It is Lord the of the awesome. Forsaken. Love it another demon um this one costs four black black it has flying trample you can pay a black sacrifice another creature target player mills three cards Ugh. pay I one like life add a colorless spend this mana only to cast a spell from your graveyard Ooh, okay. That's pretty damn cool because yeah, yeah, the so just on the face of it, a six mana six six with flying trample is awesome. Yeah. Oh gosh, um, yeah. That alone is really pretty good. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hey, and and the fact that you could sack a creature to make a target player mill, you for for black, you're obviously gonna want to mill yourself, mm -hmm. right? To be able to maybe get something back from the graveyard mm -hmm. or some stuff but yeah but pixie that last about pay one life that's really freaking good the yeah. just add colorless mana yeah yeah that, that's and just you, like crazy there's good. no tapping you can just do that infinitely until you don't have life i i give this a normie yeah okay so double thumbs up well i thought double thumbs up hold on so double thumbs up is not as high as double thumbs up plus. Oh right? no, double thumbs up. Double thumbs up plus is the highest one. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes. okay. Double thumbs up plus. <laughs> okay, so you're giving it a double thumbs up plus. Yes, yes. Me too. I love it. We're, we're totally going to get this down. Yeah, we got it. We got it. I like All it. Right. I think it's cool. Does this one have an alternate art? No. It does. Has extended art. Extended this one art. could you this one could have used the alternate art. I too. know. This like almost looks like, I don't know, Illidan. I don't know. Oh, it does. Kind of um, like with the purple skin and only if only these like etchings were like glowing green or something. Right? Yeah. With the the um <laughs> shit, what are the demon hunter blades or whatever? Yeah. Right, I like how it looks card. like he... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just going to say, like, I like how it looks like he's pulling something, like, out of this, like, crevice. Like, like when you get something back from your graveyard. Ooh, yeah. I didn't yeah. think of that. I, it just looked like he's chained down and trying to escape like or something. I something up. True. Could be. Maybe. 
Okay, we'll move on to our next card. Double thumbs up plus etched foil. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, shit. That could be art. So double thumbs up etched foil. <laughs> double thumbs up etched foil. I love it. All right, I'm putting that down. Yeah, we got this. We got this. D double thumbs up etched foil. Okay. All right, our next card, Moonvale yep. Regent for three and a red. Yes. It's a dragon that's a 4-4 four, four with flying. Ooh. Whenever you cast a spell, you may discard your hand. If you do, draw a card for each of that spell's colors. Okay, not bad. When this dies, it deals X damage to any target where X is the number of colors among permanents you control. What? So I kind of like that, actually, because... Let's say in limited, at most you're going to, or at least you're going to play two colors, right? Yes. So, so, and, you know, if you're playing this on curve and you start running out of cards, but you cast a spell, you can, even if you have, as you cast a spell and have no cards in hand, mm -hmm. you can still discard your hand and then draw a card as well, too. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Because cause, cause that's one of the things that red can be weak in it, especially if you're going fast, mm -hmm. you know, you you start casting spells but have no way to you card draw or and anything. And you don't have anything left. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Okay, I see it. I see it. Yes. When like it dies, it. it deals X damage to any target where X is the number of colors among permanents you control. Okay, well, that's sort of whatever. Yeah. Probably I mean, in limited... To... It, yeah, two to, two to three, unless you're going, like, three colors, but, you know. But you'd have to be brave to do that. Real brave. Oh, what? I don't think... Th is there any hybrid mana in, no. in Midnight Hunt? I don't think there... But, wait, is there? But... So, like, if you're playing this a commander and it dies and you have something on the battlefield with hybrid mana, does that mean that would count it as two? Because it's each color? Hey, oh dang, we just that, got a raid. Hey, tap that MTG. Hey, tap that MTG. Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for the raid. What is Thank going you. on? We I are... haven't seen Leslie and Sean on forever. Right? Hope y'all are doing great. Thank you so I think, much. I think they just got done playing some EDH, some Ooh, commander. Fun. Um, we are just doing our very uh professional, high level, um, very intellectual set review for Midnight Hunt. Um, we, yes. We are going through every card, very detailed, telling you all what's the best card to play, what each card does. We're like really doing a deep dive here. So um, yeah, so welcome. Yes, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh. And for all new viewers, if you also want to hang out with the normies, you can join our Discord. Just look at the chat and... uh. This in uh, Twitch. Yeah, do it. You can join our Discord. Um, so welcome. And I'm everything out I said about the, the set review, I was totally joking. Like we don't know what we're talking about. We're just yeah. looking at the new cards. We're just looking at the new cards. Um, so right now we are talking about the Moonvale Regent creature, dragon creature. Um, and I think we have decided that this is a really pretty good card. Yeah, I, I like it for a dragon card. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I'm not that big a fan on the art, though, to be honest. Oh, I kind of like it. It's kind of like the, it's, it's like this sort of like slender dragon. Um, and I don't know. I, I like my dragons beefy. Oh, okay. MTG Card Crazy, thank you so much for this. Oh, sub. dang. Woo, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Okay, so what Thank are we going to rate this card at? I'll, I'll give it a double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. I'll give it a double thumbs up, too. Double thumbs nice. up. We like it. It's pretty good. Double thumbs up. Definitely would be like a bomb in Limited, I think. Oh, heck yes. Heck freaking four, yes. uh Four mana, four four with flying. Yes, let's go. Um. Okay, so on to our next card. Um. We um, have... The Puppet it's Stitcher. Puppet. Hello there, Puppet. Hello, Puppet. Hello, Puppet Stitcher. For two and a blow, it's a human wizard that's a 2-3. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token with Decay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you forget what Decay is, like I do, yep. um, it can't block. 
when it attacks, sack it at the end of combat. Combat. And then, yep. at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control three or more creature tokens, you may transform Puppet Stitcher. Puppet. Okay. Puppet Stitcher S becomes Puppet Factory. Whoa. What? Oh, that's crazy art there. Yeah, that's creepy. I'm scared. So, I don't like that. Ooh. Yeah. Creature tokens you control lose all abilities and have base power and toughness 3-3. Three, three. They lose all abilities? Ooh. I don't like that. It's creature what if, tokens, like, though. So they lose I mean, decay. They, they lose decay, but what if I'm playing a deck and I've got tokens that do, like, other cool shit? Well, then you wouldn't want to play this card. How dare you? What if I want to play it? Then you just have to face the consequences, I guess. Or what if I don't want to face the consequences? Then you're a fool. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You're a fool. You're a fool. At um, the beginning of your upkeep, you may transform Puppet Factory back to Puppet Stitcher. But the thing is, like, you may. You don't have oh, to. Oh, it is a may ability. That's true. I like true. that. That's true. Okay, okay. So, all right. I like that a lot. Pop it and lock it. Keep pop it. Don't stop. Oh, shit. Cardboard pimpin'. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, damn. I thought you came up with that on your own, Zuby. I was no. like, Zuby. I, I gladly give um creds. Okay. To yeah. Cardboard Pimpin okay, for that. Okay, okay. It was decent. I'm, decent. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not that smart. Yeah. You, you are, though, Zuby. You, you are sometimes. I'll you add the too. sometimes caveat. A little bit. Yeah, you, you are too a little bit Thank sometimes. You. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I think this card is creepy, real creepy. Do you think this is a card that like um was like originally made for Eldraine and then just didn't work out, and so now they're putting it in this set? Because this is like it Pinocchio, does, right? It does. This looks straight out of OG and Estrad. Okay. Because because there's um a card in OG Innistrad, I want to say it's like Ludovic or something. Ludovic Egg or or Ludovic's Test Subject or so, something. Yeah. Okay. It, it, it looks very similar to that art. Okay. But I just what, like, meant, it, I didn't mean the art specifically. I just meant like that it's obviously Pinocchio. Right? Sort of. I mean, I could see how you think that. Yeah. But. It's a little different. Definitely, like, the back yeah. side is not pinocchio -ish. Oh, no. No. No, the back side is creepy, and they don't like it at yeah. all. It's just a creepy-looking card altogether. Yeah. Look, like, if you look on the back oh. of it, like, yep. what's that person in that tank? I, that guess that's the, I guess that's the pop-bit stitcher. That's the pop-bit stitcher. I guess so. Okay, like, read the flavor text on the back of this card. It may have been a mistake to give them minds of their own. Oh, Ooh, shit. Creepy. Oh, th that is the Poppet so Stitcher. Yes. Oh, shit. They've, like, they've, like, I don't know, trapped him. All right, so with this having a May ability, I give this a thumbs up. Yeah, I think this probably gets a thumbs up, too. I hate to do that because it's a blue card, but... But, I mean, it's still pretty damn good. It's decent. It's decent. Yeah, for sure. Decent. Decent. Wow. It's decent. Uh, decent. Okay, we're moving on to Primal Adversary, our next card. We are definitely at least going to get through the Mythics here. Okay, folks? Don't you worry yeah, about it. Probably it. <laughs> okay, so Primal Adversary is a wolf. This is our first wolf besides, well, we saw Arlen. But, yeah, this um, is our first wolf, not werewolf. Yeah, yes, yes. yes so, yeah. Um, mm. Primal Adversary uh, costs two and a green. It's a 4-3 wolf. It has trample. When Primal Adversary enters the battlefield, you may pay one green any number of times. Ooh. When you pay this cost one or more times, put that many plus one plus one counters on Primal Adversary. Then up to that many target lands you control become 3-3 three, three wolf creatures with haste. That are still lands. Okay, so this is a green adversary card. I don't like it. What? I I, I mean, a uh, a three mana four three with trample is awesome, but I hate making my lands creatures, especially in something like limited, because 
those are like if they die you're really screwed are you kidding you literally have an entire edh deck that's based on that well duh i'm talking about i'm, I'm thinking more in like limited like yeah in limited i don't i don't love that in limited at all i agree with i you i I don't like animating lands in the limited because it's just that, right, you don't have you don't hurts. have a lot of lands. That, yeah. yeah, that hurts if they're removed for sure. But but I think if you have if you know like oh oh and they have haste so that that could be a good um when con well hold on when con well hold on so then up to that many target lands you control oh but you can't untap the lands. So. Mm. so so I'm just trying to think like if you dumped a lot of mana into this and then you pay, know, and then paid a yeah. lot when it comes onto the battlefield yeah I see what you're saying yeah, yeah that's I mean, it's not it's not bad it's it's good because you can build up your board presence but man that's such a drawback yeah yeah I'm, I'm, I'm with you but you know like green is always like super powerful so I'm kind of okay with it right yeah not Gr green gr green needs to stop being so good yeah it's wildly good wildly good so I, how would you rate it i'd give it a thumbs up okay yeah we'll give it a thumbs up we'll the, the the art is the best part the art's okay. really good yeah it's like kind of scary it's can, can you just because if you see it's a bit dark on this screen here or at least on my screen um uh -huh. hold on how does it look on yours? yeah so you can see yours a little bit better um, how it's coming up the stairs or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, it's that, huge. Yeah, that's yeah. kind of creepy. Yeah, like, that's can a you imagine, big wolf. Can you imagine, like, walking no. down a, your hall in your house and you see this just looking at you? No. no. Thing of nightmares. Like, this is, like, similar to the wolf from NeverEnding Story. Yeah, I would be terrified. Fuck that movie. Yeah, I would be so terrified. Too scary. Okay, our next card is Sigarda, Champion of Light. It is a one green, double white, four four angel. Ooh. You're my angel. You're my darling, flying trample angel. Your humans you control get plus one plus one. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So it has Coven. Whenever Sigarda attacks, if you control three or more creatures at different powers, Ooh. meaning like. Yeah, d different power. Mm -hmm. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a human creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay. So it's only when it attacks. Okay, but you need three or more creatures of different power. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is the first one that we've come across with the coven mechanic. True. So yes. That's, that's interesting. I mean... It helps you dig through your deck. Yep. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I I would definitely pack one, pick one this for sure. Yeah. Because a four mana, four, four flying trample and it boosts your, you know, humans right. up. It's yes. really good. Exactly. And you can just look for humans, you know, with you want the coven mechanic to pop off. So obviously you're going to look for humans with different power. Yeah. And, and I, I'd have to imagine it's not that hard to make coven go off in limited yeah can't be that tough right eh, i don't know maybe who knows i think i I, I mean the the casting cost i know it only cost four but it's like one green white white that could get a little tricky it can yeah especially in limited so i don't know if i yeah it, it, pack one pick one i would i would choose this but I think it would be a bit risky. Yeah. Um. I mean, I could see, I I could see commander decks being built around this too. Oh yeah. For like the the digging through part. Yeah, that would be a fun commander for sure. Hasn't there been other cigardas too? Yes. What what are the other cigardas done? Cigardas. Oh, there's two. There's two other cigardas. There's cigardas Heron's hate Grace. Yep. Where you and humans you control have hexproof. Ooh. <clears throat> and then there's spells and abilities your opponents control can't cause you to sack permanents. That's Cigarda, host of herons. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Uh-huh. 
So you could have like a whole EDH deck full of Sigarda Angel humans. Oh, that'd be neat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It kind of makes me wonder which Sigarda would you choose as your commander, though. I would choose the one that it has the lowest um, mana value. The Champion of Light, the new one. Yeah, because you know yeah, that's the, the easiest to just recast. Right. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause you to sack permanence. I like that. Mm. I'd have to go for almost Heron's Grace. Um, for you and humans you control have Hexproof, because I, I think yeah, I like that nice. better. that's nice. Yep. They're all pretty good, honestly. But yeah, that oh, would yeah. be a fun. That would be a fun EDH yeah. deck. All Sigardas. Oops, all Sigardas. Yeah, I love it. Hey, Kyoji, welcome. Hey, Kyoji. Hey, um, all right, all right. We got our next one. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we, oh, to oh, we gotta it. rate it. We have to rate it. I'm gonna give this one um, a double thumbs up. Yeah, I agree. Double thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, we didn't look at the alternate art, Sigarda. Oh my Ooh. gosh. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Okay, I give it a double thumbs up plus now. Ooh, just for the art on the alternate. Yeah, just for the art. Yeah. It's, but it's gorgeous. It Holy is gorgeous. crap. I'm with you. <laughs> Okay, we're moving on to Sigardian Savior. Or three double white. It's an angel, three, three, with flying. Ooh. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, return up to two target creature cards of mana value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Ooh. So up to two target creature cards with mana value two or less. Okay. That's pretty okay, good. Okay, so isn't that like, doesn't Karmic Guide do the same thing? I don't know. Hold on. And I only remember this because I remember the whole Protean Hulk Karmic Guide. Oh, oh, Karmic Guide returns target creature card from your graveyard. Okay. This only returns it with mana value two or less. Right. So you can't bring anything like super huge back, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. But if you're trying to do coven stuff, you know, that's nice. Oh, if you cast it. Okay. Okay. So if you cheat it in, mm -hmm. you won't get that ETB effect. Right. Right. Mm. I mean, it's yeah, all right. I like it. It's probably, I don't know if it's any good in limited. I mean, it, it would be good. I mean, it'd be good, but yeah. I'm kind of like not that super excited if I open and pull it, you know? Yeah. And it's not a very exciting card for me in Commander and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like, I, I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Like, it's not fine. bad. It's just kind of, eh. Yeah. yeah. You know. It's fine. It's okay. Okay. Oh. We've got a freaking blue card next. Are you kidding the me? The blue adversary. Yo, the I got to I gotta read this one. Yes. All right. One in a blue, just for you, Pixie. It's a spectral okay. adversary. -ry. Um, it's got two one spirit flash and flying. When it ETBs, you may pay one in a blue any number of times. Mm -hmm. When you pay this cost one or more times, put that many one one counters on spectral adversary. Then up to that many other target artifacts, creatures, and or enchantments phase out. That's boring. Yeah, but this is it has it has oh it has flash. flash. This is by and... far the best one. I guess to protect your own board, right? Yes. And... This is like okay. by far the best one in my opinion. <clears throat> yeah, because I get yeah, because I guess you can do some protection. Yeah, like with the oh flash. no, board board wipe coming. Oh no, spot removal coming. Like boom. Oh, no, Not no I'm playing blue. Not anymore. So here Not I'm anymore. gonna phase out all my stuff. All right, you changed my mind. I like it. I like <gasps> it. Okay, I, I I will say honestly, it bores me, but it's good. I mean, what do you mean it bores you? It, it's just, you know, phase out. Been there, done that. Phased out. You know, last year, all of last year, I phased out. <laughs> oh dang, twenty twenty <laughs> was phased out of history. Like. <laughs> right. Oh, God. And, and half of 2021, please. Yeah. Goodbye. But, I mean, it's a good card. It's just... Eh. Yeah. yeah. 
and the art i mean the art's good but it's just eh. yeah i mean i give it a double i can't draw like up. that I, I give it a thumbs up i think it's better than you're saying it it, it is really good it's just i'm not excited to play it well i'm not ever gonna play it but i guess can... you will if you open it up and sealed don't say you know that. you would don't you, say you would. that you would i would, you would. If i opened it up and sealed i probably would yeah but i don't want yeah. to have to i don't want to have to stop no do not dab on the blue stop dabbing on that blue stop. On that. <laughs> you want me to floss on the blue no i've removed you oh no oh he's doing it he's doing it we got it we got the I don't, I don't... of it I, I don't know how to floss, floss it's, or whatever. I'm not sure that's even possible while sitting also. Yeah, it's a little bit hard. It's a little difficult. Okay, so we're moving on from the freaking spectral adversary. I give it a double thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. Okay, whatever. Next, we have Sunstreak you're Phoenix. You're rating a blue card higher than me. I know. I know. I don't, I don't think you're being fair to it. Um, okay, Sunstreak Phoenix. Two red red is a 4-2 creature, Phoenix creature. It has flying. If it's neither day nor night, it becomes day as Sunstreak Ooh. Phoenix enters the battlefield. So if it becomes day, then, like, the card is there. And so now day, day bound and night bound is, is always happening. Oh, yeah, so... Because I, I guess the token is sort of is the is the daybound a nightbound effect like a token like city's blessing like it never I think goes so. away like an emblem okay. like type thing yeah I think yeah so yeah so um, so if it's neither day nor night it becomes day yeah so okay it okay starts it so this card like starts the day and night thing if, if okay. it hasn't already happened with another creature so whenever day becomes night or night becomes day you may pay. One in a red. If you do, return Sunstreak Phoenix from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Oh, okay. Day becomes night or night. You may pay one in a blue. One, one in a blue. Oh, one in a red. Hmm, um, one in a blue. blue. If you do return. That's so, not bad. Okay. Yeah. So, like, you can play it. It's going to start the day bound, night bound cycle. And then it dies, whatever. But then day bound and night bound is still always happening, and you can pay one in a red to just bring it back to the battlefield tapped every single freaking time. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. Really good. Um, um, I I will have to ask you this though. Yeah. Think about the real life consequences this bird causes on the plane of Innistrad. What real life consequence? So, let's say it's nighttime. Like, oh, it's nighttime. It just turned night, and I'm about to go to sleep. Boom! This bird's like, ha ha, fuck you, buddy. And it's now daytime. Yeah, it's messed up, and that is fuck why. That that's why Teferi has gone to Innistrad to help fix this issue. Like, it's it's really just plaguing the whole plane. The yeah. day and the night. That that that's yeah, what Crimson Vow is actually about. Soren is like, I have to stop this crimson looking bird from <laughs> causing daytime all the time. So the big baddie is the Sunstreak Phoenix? Like yes. that this is the big baddie of Innistrad. Right yeah, now. because okay. they'll kill the bird. Okay. And it'll turn nighttime again. Like, oh, we're back to our normal circadian rhythm. And the bird's all like, ha ha, fuck you suckers. <laughs> and just turns back to day. Yeah, but wouldn't, that would kill the vampires. Yep, Colin, Colin got, Colin's got it. The sun comes out, turns to day. Vampires are toast at any moment. Oh, shit. Yeah, what? that's right. That's it. They're toast. Oh fuck. Burned up. Uh, so wizards, uh, you can send me your lore Vorthos writing check to mm -hmm. PO Box fifty nine fifty nine at you know Magic uh, with Zuby in yeah. Florida. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think this card's pretty good. I give this a double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Yep. 
On the scale of shit that has gone down on Innistrad, they probably don't even notice. Oh, they're just like, oh, it's daytime again, five minutes later. Oh, it's nighttime, no big deal. Whatever. Yeah. I think they would notice, all right? Especially they, the vampires. They'd be like, yeah. oh, hell no, bra. Hell no, bra. They just like, like oh, can, literally shit. can't go outside ever, just in case. Because you never know. Think about someone who's like fucking high as shit. And just keep seeing the sun and moon going up and down, up and down. Oh and they're like, gosh. whoa, dude. Um, do, like, do people on Innistrad get high? Is that a thing? I mean, there's, we're yeah, We're gonna have probably. to, we're, okay. Gonna, are you gonna, like, tweet it, watch see this time and ask them? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, we'll <laughs> find out. We'll let y'all know what we find out. I'm so worried. I'm too so worried. Okay, our next card. We've got a zombie. It is Tainted Adversary. Was oh, this the last one of the cycle? <gasps> yes, it I is. I think so, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right. You want to read this one off? Sure. So, Tainted Adversary. It is a 2-3 zombie. It costs one and a black. It has Death Touch. When Ooh, Tainted Adversary like enters the battlefield, you may pay... Two and a black any number of times. When you pay this cost one or more times, put that many 1-1 one, one counters on Tainted Adversary. Then create twice that many 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens with Decayed. Hmm. I like that. Okay. Because you're not only, you know, pooping up the board with a bunch of tokens. Yeah. But, I mean, a 2-3... Death Touch for two mana. That's still really fucking good. Pretty and good. Yeah. And hey, hey I, LevDev. I, I, hey, LevDev. Thank you for this up. Oh, thank you. What's going on? You just got done opening some boosties and you got two extended art, Ren and Seven. Ooh. Ooh, damn. That's lucky. Nice. Holy crap. One okay. shiny. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, so I don't know, like, if you, okay, so the Tainted Adversary, if you pay it even one time, you're going to get two zombies tokens. So there's that. Yeah. It's okay, but like you were saying, it's like, kind of boring, I think. Yeah. I mean, I, you're right, the blue one still is better. Mm-hmm. But, God, I... After looking at the whole cycle, mm -hmm. the red one probably excites me the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the red one has the most potential. Yeah. Like, definitely outside of standard, too. Mm -hmm. But I like this one. I mean, yeah. it's, like if it's I'm playing definitely a zombie, not bad. Yeah, if I'm playing like a zombie EDH deck, I'd play this. Yeah. Even just like, even without the extra stuff. As you said, a 2-3 with death, death Touch for 2, that's real good. Real mm -hmm. good. So, I give it a double thumbs up. Yeah, I'd give it a double thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. We're moving on. Um, we've got to be getting close to the end. Oh my gosh, yes, we so. are getting close to the end of the myth. Oh, because we're going up to one of the best cards is next. Oh, no. Oh, it's, that? it's Teferi who slows the sunset. Teferi who dabs the sunset. Oh, oh, dang. oh, 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 oh. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah, whoops. Read this card to us. Zuba. Yo, Teferi who slows that sunset. He's too white and a blue. Yeah. He's a Teferi Planeswalker with four loyalty. His plus one, choose up to one target artifact, up to one creature, up to one target land. Untap the chosen permanents you control. Tap the chosen permanents you don't control. Oh, you gain two life. God. Fuck yes. What mm. the hell? Why is that so good? Negative two. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Wow. Oh, you want to anticipate like nice. a motherfucker? Yeah. Teferi's got you. Teferi's okay. got you. Yep. All right. His negative seven. You get an emblem with untap all permanents you control during each opponent's untap step. Ooh. Seedborn use effect. Hell yes. And you draw a card during each opponent's draw step. Hell oh yes! Oh my gosh, that is very really good. 
I want. I. You did it again, Teferi. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, it's not the best Teferi Planeswalker we've seen, but it, it's, it's pretty good. damn good. It's good. Yeah. This is this is a very good Teferi, but I almost feel like it's a little bit more fair than like the best oh, Teferi yeah, ever. Yeah. Like this one, it's going to be hard to get that emblem off, right? That's going to be Yeah, difficult. because if you play this on turn four, it doesn't have a way to protect itself. Because even though I can tap your permanents mm -hmm. on my turn, you're still just going to untap them mm -hmm. on your turn. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so it's kind of like, I, I, unless I want to be able to get in there and attack with my creatures, it's, mm -hmm. it's not that great, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's good. It, but it, it's good, yeah. Everything it does is really good, but it is going to be difficult to get that emblem out. Like, n that emblem is so yeah, good. Five, Nobody's six, gonna let six. you have that. I mean, come on. Yeah, it, it'll take, as soon as you play it, it'll take four turns for you to be able to do that emblem. Mm, yeah. So, because if you just constantly one. keep doing the plus one. Right. So. There is an infinite combo in standard with its plus one ability. Oh, oh dang, no. really? Is that okay, what is it what Lev says it goes infinite with lithoform engine. Oh really? Oh, cool. Let's look it up. What is I don't that remember what lithoform engine does. I'm gonna look it up. We're gonna look this up. Lithoform engine. It is from um Oh, this is the thing that uh Voltan plays in Calamax. Okay. Copy target activated or triggered ability you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. And the mana dork that generates mana base and how much life you gain. I, I guess I'd have to look up the combo because I'm sure you all have figured this out and know this, but I, I just don't know. Yeah, so what's the combo? Okay, it's with Teferi's plus one. You tap... Tap the chosen permanence you don't control and you gain two life. Untap chosen permanence you control. Oh, so you're going to untap the lithoform engine? I guess, and then you just keep... And then... To keep and tap... Well, so so, I, so I guess you would... I guess you would tap to fairy, tap the lithoform engine response to copy the activated ability... And then untap the artifact, tap it again to just keep copying it, and then you just gain two. Then what do you do? Yeah, how is. How? The mana door that generates get it. mana. Wait, how much life? Copy the Teferi? Oh. You copy. Oh, so you use its four, pay four, tap it, copy target permanent spell you control. So you make a Teferi? Copy target permanent spell. What? Infinite mana and infinite dorks. Oh, and then copy. Copy the Teferi trigger. Okay, I'm confused here. Oh Do you eventually copy the Teferi or something? Because you'd get infinite mana and infinite dorks. Oh, because yeah, because you can just keep untapping the the mana dork too with Teferi's. Then what do you do with that mana? Like, is there a payoff, or...? You just gain two life. You gain infinite life. I guess. You copy to fairies plus one. We're going to figure this out. We're going to figure this All out. All right. Okay, we're going to figure this out. You copy it's... to fairies plus one with the, with the lithoform. Copy target activated or triggered ability. Oh, there's a Banefire card in Standard. Oh, okay, so you pay X into whatever that burn spell and kill them, I guess? I mean, it's okay. Tap the Chosen Permits you don't control. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. We're, yeah. We'll have to look at... We'll have to look it up yeah. later. We'll, we'll have I'm to... Not, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't see the exact cards, and I don't know the other... Yeah, and dorks, and I'm I don't know. So, but Teferi is a pretty good card, like on its own. Oh yeah, yeah. This um, is a this is a good Teferi. I feel like it's a little bit more fair 
then um i don't know like the three drop to fairy right that one was that one was glorious that was the best one yeah this one is definitely more and, fair and the five mana to fairy too love that to fairy yeah i mean it's a good card i have to admit it's a good card i don't want i won't play i'm not gonna be playing it but it's a good card yeah, um, I give this one a double thumbs up. Yeah, I'll gi I would give it a double thumbs up. Oh, there, Lev linked a video in YouTube if anyone wants to look up that that infinite combo thing. Okay, cool. Yeah, um, yeah. So double thumbs up for Teferi for sure. Is there an alternate art for Teferi? Oh yes, it's got yes, alternate art is. extended. <gasps> nice. Or, or not extended? Yeah. I love it. I love the um, phases of the moon on this art. Very cool. Ooh, that's right. Yeah, it is different phases. Yes. Nice. So wait, why is it different phases of the moon when it's who slows the sunset? Because Teferi's trying to stop the sunset from happening. So, I mean, the moon oh, is, is that, always is that there the, even if you can't see it, you know? Is that, is that the point of, like, the whole story? Like, you don't we don't want the sun to go down or something or? yeah because of that because of that big thing that's some that the big thing that's gonna happen when the sun when it turns to night all the werewolves are gonna like turn or something oh okay i believe come you come on zuby you know you know oh th that's right the the phoenix the, the phoenix will no, come and no not the phoenix <laughs> not the phoenix okay we're moving on okay our next card we are getting through these mythics in our review. We, we got are two left. These mythics. Okay, our next card is the Meat Hook Massacre. It is a legendary enchantment. It costs X black black. When the Meat Hook Massacre enters the battlefield, each creature gets minus X minus X until end of turn. Whenever mm -hmm. a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Whenever a creature an opponent... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, you gain one life. Okay. Okay, so it's an enchantment. Okay. Right. It's I wonder why they did legendary enchantment. Oh, because of the... the it could stack wildly the, if there yeah, was more that's than right, one. That's right. Yeah, I like it. I I'm like good at magic. Lot. I understand stuff. Yeah, we're so good at magic. Yeah, I like this. I mean, the Enter the Battlefield is real cool. You can, yeah, it's a pretty good board wipe. You can get a lot of stuff done with that, but then it's an enchantment, so it's going to stay out there, and it's going to continue to do its thing whenever a creature dies, whether it's yours or your opponent's. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I like it. I ooh, like it a lot. Ooh. I might want to put this in a Yara, because I already have a lot of effects where when I sack something, you know, people lose life and all that. This could just stack up with it. Oh, yeah. I think this is oh, a great oh. card for Ayara. Or or Jury, too, possibly. <gasps> jury. Because you do a lot of sack effects as well. I do. What could you... Could you make X zero? Mm-hmm. Yep. So you could just cast this for, like, black, black. Yep. And then nothing would happen. Each creature would yeah. get minus zero, minus zero. Yep. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Yeah, I like it. I think that would be great in jury. I give this well. a double thumbs up. I'm giving it a double thumbs up too. Double thumbs up. Plus. Ooh, you're going plus. Yes. Okay. I'm doing a double thumbs up plus. I love it. Um, nice. Okay. Yeah. Also, like, I know you're building a, or you've already built your Corvold food deck. Like, look at yeah, this, I, look at this I, food theme on here. Ooh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah. Ooh. And you have Corvold. to sack stuff in Corvold. You're not always sacking a creature for Corvold, but yeah, you sometimes yeah. might, could. That's true. I don't know exactly how your deck is built if you have, like, oh. tokens <laughs> or anything. Th that, that card has a single thumb down. That is true. He's not lying. Call it. Yeah, no, he's not mm. lying. It does have a single thumbs down. Okay, so let's move on. This is our last mythic. And it's one of my favorites. Ren and seven. Ren and seven for three double green. Yes. It's a planeswalker that starts off with five loyalty. Whoa. The plus one reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all land cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Ooh. Boom. 
pay zero, put any number of land cards from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Double boom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Nag 3, create a green tree folk creature token with reach, and this creature's power and toughness are each equal number of lands you control. Triple boom. Uh oh. The Nag 8, return all permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. You get an emblem with you have no maximum hand size. Quadruple oh, boom. It's really good. It's really good. Um, oh my god, my Ashaya deck wants this so bad. I know. So I bad. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Oh, like it. Th this card was like made for my Ashaya deck. It really was. And it's and it's like mono green because Ren and Six is um, Gruel Colors, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So this one's mono green. So yeah, it's absolutely perfect for your Ashaya deck. We know, we know, and you I don't give, you don't play creatures in that deck, so this doesn't affect that. You're right. I don't walker. play creatures yeah. in this deck, mm -hmm. and I have forty six lands in that deck. A lot, and this zero put any number of land cards from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. What the frig? It's amazing. I love it. I actually think this is such a good card. It's amazing. Yeah. But like I don't even really like the emblem is pretty good, but yeah. I don't even care about that that much. It's you like the first to. two abilities yeah. are my favorite. Yeah, just and keep it. just keep this card alive and just use those. It's great. Yeah. And, and plus the fact that it creates a tree folk with reach oh my is gosh. really good. That just makes sense. That just makes good yeah. sense. Exactly. Do all tree folk have reach? I don't think so. I'm sure there's a lot of them that do, but I don't think they do. Maybe? I was going to say, like, Colfenor is a tree, and he has reach. Oh, he does? I believe so, yeah. I, I I just Googled, or not Googled, but I put in Scryfall tree folk, and I'm seeing a lot of tree folk that don't have reach. Oh, okay. So they're just, like, little tiny trees. They're not very tall trees. They haven't well, grown some, yet. Well, according to the art, some of them look pretty damn big, and they don't have reach. Hmm. They have Forest Walk. Hey, Baltan. Thank you hey, for the Hey, Baltan. Sub. Holy crap. 23 months in a row. It's going to be two years two next year. Two years, Baltan. Wow. That's awesome. Baltan. Yeah, I like Ren and Seven. I think this is a really freaking good card. What did we say, like, the top one was? A double, double thumbs, thumbs up. Double thumbs up plus. plus Etched, etched foil, foil old bordered oh god okay we are doing that extended art um well, there's something else Efren, Efren said etched old foil bordered. old etched bordered etched foil old bordered it's, oh, I don't know uh, what, what, I don't know double thumbs up plus etched foil oh, old bordered oh planeswalker stamp that's right that's Plains right planeswalker stamp that's right okay that's right that's oh, literally God. the best card that they've ever... That is equal to the best card that's ever been printed. Would you say yeah. that this is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Move over, Black Lotus. Get the fuck out. Black Run Lotus in seven. is trash. We rip you to pieces, Black Lotus. Exactly. Rip, rip it up. Don't even it, care if about If someone this. hands me, like, an alpha or beta Black Lotus, just tearing it up. it up. Tearing it up. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, yeah. Black Lotus. Yeah, rip it into pieces, chew it up, spit it out. Power 9, I put it in the, the trash power and burn trash. it. Power trash. The Am power right? trash. Yeah, yeah exactly, trash. right. Get out of the way because Ren and Seb Seven are here. Exactly. Yeah. So God. Bad. And there's an alt art Ren and Seven, which is also... I so love the pumpkin. Friggin' good. And the pumpkin has is that like a autumn leaf? Yeah, there's like little something? leaves carved into it. I love it. I want that art. I know. Right? It's so good. Take this deck. Can you just give me the black lotus? Sure. If I Can you just If I give if I get a black lotus, I won't rip it up. I'll give it to you. Take this deck. I'll do it. Promise. Mhm. Mm yeah, totally. Um, yeah, so, okay, so our set review, we, we've we got, we we've got gotten it. through the mythics, at least. <laughs> I don't, I think, uh, we're gonna have to, um, just call it a set review there, because... Yeah, I mean, I mean, were there either, were there really any other cards to discuss besides the mythics? 
I mean, not really. No. Look, look at all these rares and they're uncommons trash. and commons. They're obviously they're, there's, not good. There's a reason why they're not mythics. There's a reason they're why. Because they're garbage. They're garbage. There's a freaking reason why. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, like, um, so other than the mythics, my favorite card from the set is probably Gisa. Gisa. The new Gisa. Gisa. Gisa oh, that's a rare, right? Gisa. Uh... No, not what did that do? Not Ghoul Caller Gisa. Gisa Glorious Resurrector. Yes. Gisa is rare, so we'll look at this one real quick. Okay. It's my favorite carry from the set. Shit, what what cards did I say that I liked on my cards here review thing? I don't know. We'll have to see when when the article comes out. I kind of forgot. Yeah. <laughs> How bad is that? It's okay. Um, yeah, so we'll, this is just the one rare we'll talk about. Gisa, Glorious Resurrector, two black black. She's a 4-4. Four, four. If a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. Oh. At the beginning of your upkeep, pu put all creature cards exiled with Gisa, Glorious Resurrector onto the battlefield under your control. Oh. They gain decayed. Oh. I love it. Ooh. I'm going to play this whenever you play any sack outlet decks. No, I'm going to play this. with your cauldron familiar. I'm going to play this whenever I play any sack outlet decks. How dare you? Yes. Um, I love it. It's my favorite card in the set. Bye. Uh, it, it's good. It's freaking. Yeah. I like it. It's interesting. Yeah. Um, Efren says, this set review gets a double thumbs up plus Japanese alt art, etched foil, showcase, extended art, old border, planeswalker stamped, misprint, mechanically unique. <laughs> Love it. This is best. This is the best freaking set review ever, for sure. For sure. I mean, we're professionals we're so at this. We're professional. Um, Take This Deck asked, what are your thoughts on the Commander pre-cons for this set? And I actually wanted to discuss that with you, Zuby. Um, let me go look at them. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> do you know what they are? So there's only I, two for this yeah, set. Yeah, I, I know there's um a zombie one. Yes. And I think it's a human one. Yes, okay. it's a coven. It's a coven's um, counters one. Okay. Other than that, I have not looked at any of the cards. Well, I, I mean... haven't looked at um, the deck list like extensively. Yeah, I but, have not. <clears throat> um, but the zombie one that that is a Demir one. It's a black and blue. Whatever. Um, is really it, that one seems really good. Like really, it? real good. Yes. It's like a zombies okay. tribal thing, um, and oh, oh, the will he help the rock cleaver. Yes, that is the commander, and it says whenever another zombie you control dies, if it didn't have decayed, create a two-two black zombie creature token with decayed. Ooh, At the beginning okay. of your end step, you may sacrifice a zombie. If you do, draw a card. So I don't like that. It's kind of like the zombie. The zombies just kind of replace each other, and yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's really, it's really good. I kind of like skimmed through the the deck list, and this one seems real good. Um, I like the other one as well, and I actually pre-ordered both of these because I really. Oh, you did. I did. I really love. I really love EDH, and I just want all of. I just want all of the pre-cons. So. You know, I still haven't gotten the other two. Um, I still need to get all the D and D precons. Um, mm. I should probably pick these up too, because that zombie, just the face card of this zombie deck, gets me really interested. You know what I just thought of? Mm. It's that that poppet factory where they lose all their base or they lose all their abilities, so they'll lose decay. Oh. So you can just keep sacking a zombie and it replaces itself. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that would be real Ooh. good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty damn cool. Yeah, so the other one, like, real quick, is um, the, the, the coven mechanic. And the commander says, at the beginning of combat on your turn, put a 1-1 counter on up to one target creature you control. Then if you control three or more creatures with different powers, draw a card. Eh. So, it's 
I mean, that sounds definitely decent, but... I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. It's just, like, com compared to the zombie one, it's just kind of, eh. Yeah, and I... I Now, this deck list, I really did not look through, so I don't know what else is exactly in this yeah. deck. And that might be good, but I... You're right. It, it may be good. I, I just... Yeah. We can't say. I just haven't looked, and yeah. I'm a terrible magic content creator, because I just... <laughs> I haven't looked at any of this stuff. And... Well, and it just, like, literally pre-release was last weekend, so. Yeah. It's not and like it's... we really had a chance to play it much. I don't I don't play Arena, so I haven't played, and I didn't do a pre-release, so I haven't played at all with this, with this set yeah. yet. And I haven't played Magic since we last played off stream a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I think when I played Corvold for the first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Corvold. I love Corvold. Corvold's my favorite. Yeah, I think that's the last time I played, and yeah. Yeah, that's the last time I played, too. Oh, cool. So we need to change that. We need to play again. Yeah. Like, I'm itching. Yeah. No, I, w I wish we could just play Cube as well. Like, mm -hmm. like, can't you all just get the same cards that I have on my Cube and just... Yeah, right? Know. How do you play that virtually, though? I mean, there's there's programs you can do that on, but it's not the same. Like, I'd rather have the cards in hand, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eventually with NormieCon. Yeah, someday. Someday. When, you know, COVID isn't happening, if that yeah. ever I mean, is someday, who knows? Heck knows. Just get vaccinated, people. Do it, please. Holy crap. Yeah. Get vaccinated, stay safe, wear a mask, be good to yourself yes. and to other people. Do it. Hug your loved ones. You can do it. Hug your loved ones. <laughs> Tell them you appreciate <laughs> them. They want to hear it. Tell them you like them and love them. Yeah, even so. This is now life advice for normies. So Don't drink iodine. Don't drink Don't iodine. Take don't take ivermectin don't. meant for hu or not humans um for for animals don't do it don't don't i don't know just just be smart just be, just be <laughs> fucking smart all right hug your cat yes hug your cats do it yes i hu i hugged prim oh. a lot today um, yeah, I, so was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Like, I don't have any games. We usually do a game at the end of Magic for Normies, but, um, I didn't have a game prepared for this one. So. Oh, it's okay. It's, no, um, we can quickly talk about the EDH ban. Oh, that yeah. Happened. Oh, yes, yes. We did mention that. Yeah. Last week, EDH ban. Yes. Talk about that. Uh, Golos got banned Golos. and Worldfire got unbanned. Yes. Um. My personal thoughts about the ban, I don't agree with it, but I'm, I'm just, so for people who are listening, I'm just shrugging my shoulders. Like, Yeah, I have a Golos card. Yeah, I, I've never played Golos as a commander. I mean, I'm yeah. sure I've had them. Maybe, maybe I've never played them in EDH before because I've I... played them so much on, on Arena, but mm -hmm. I don't know. If, I don't think I've ever played them in EDH. I don't think I've think i've played against anybody who was playing a golos deck i don't think so yeah but i mean it sucks but shrug yeah mm -hmm. it, i didn't play golo so i it yeah it, I, it didn't really matter to me personally i find the world fire unban even stranger than the golos band yeah what was that that was so weird and what a weird card i don't like it at all what it it destroys all permanents and makes everyone's life total one. Yeah, exile but. all permanents, exile all cards from all hands and graveyards. Each player's life total becomes one. Why would anybody do that? Yeah, like, I do find you, are it... you literally trying to start the entire game over? Like, well, see, the thing is, like that card doesn't even end the game, right? Because each player's life total becomes one. I mean, and yeah, you wouldn't of have any other way to kill people because everything's yeah. exiled. Yeah, it, it's it's a weird ban or unban Un for me. Unban, yeah. Yeah, it's I, I don't agree. I don't agree with that either. This has been 
one of the strangest EDH uh, ban unban announcements, to be honest. Yeah, it was like Golos. That that like just I don't know like came that, out that came of out nowhere. of nowhere. Yeah. yeah, like Hull Breacher made total and complete sense to me. I didn't agree with the Hull Breacher ban, but that made sense why they banned it. You know. Yeah. But Golos, I mean, uh, whatever, whatever. I mean, the, I've seen so many heated debates and arguments on it on Twitter and Facebook and all that shit. I just... Yeah. Yeah, whatever. some people were very mm. upset. I mean, I feel bad if, like, you know, you had a Golos deck that you played and you loved. Yeah. But I, mean, I, I didn't, so it didn't really... Rip in peace, me. Golos, rip in peace. Rip in F's in chat for Golos. Yeah, F. Type an F in the chat for Golos. We hardly F. knew ya. We hardly knew ya, Go Golos. <laughs> we hardly knew ya. Yeah, we did. Um. Yeah. So I guess we will just shine on you, crazy pilgrim. That's right. Oh, that's right. He's a tireless pilgrim. Yeah, that's right. Golos, tireless pilgrim. Um, yeah, so I guess we will just wrap it up there. I will find yeah, us yeah. somebody to maybe send um, a raid over to. Who can we raid? Who's playing right now? Um, it looks like Zbex is cracking some packs. Let's send a raid over to her. Okay. While we think about that, folks. Cracking packs. Yo. I love it. Let's go. Um, Y'all, thank you so much for watching the stream tonight. This was not our regular night, so we appreciate you. Hope y'all have a really great rest of your week. You got your Monday started off right with the normies. Yes. And it's we'll, a great Monday night. Yes. And we will see you all next time. Bye, friends. Bye.